is affecting people all across the country. Donations are pouring in from coast to coast. Two Works for You reporter Micah Hatfield spoke to the Red Cross about the best way to help the people who need it most. Right now, the rain is still falling and the floodwaters are still rising in southeast Texas. The recovery is going to be extensive. The Red Cross says right now the immediate need is feeding and sheltering the displaced people. In the uh, short term, what we need is to do those things that keep people safe, fed with changes of clothing, able to get their medications. And for the people who feel compelled to lend a helping hand with what the Red Cross is calling a high level massive disaster response, they say monetary donations are the best way to help every organization. What it enables us to do is to provide immediate basic needs and then later down the road to deliver financial assistance that can help them uh, from a short term bridge to a longer term solution for many of their um, issues. The Tulsa Red Cross has almost 40 trained volunteers in Texas right now. It's a very streamlined process to provide high level care to Harvey's victims. They do not accept donations of food or clothing because it takes time and money to sort and transport. That may be something that can happen later down the road, but in this initial stage, it is very orchestrated and very well thought out and very pre-planned to be effective right now. Keller Williams Realty is offering another option. They're collecting gift cards to major chains like Target and Walmart to send to Southeast Texas. 100% of those gift cards will be given directly to the victims. I think we have so many people that are trying to figure out how we can help. The Red Cross is accepting donations specifically for Hurricane Harvey. You can also drop off gift cards at the Keller Williams locations in Tulsa. Micah Hatfield, Two Works For You.